unease at the top of the pitch now. I know it's a bit of teamwork and anticipation, uh, working out what's going on. I know Annie's at the top and she's going to have to look for anchors. Some of them might be quite far back, some of them might be near the edge. So there could be quite a lot of taking in and paying out, to and fro -ing. The call I'm listening for is safe. On a windy day, I might not hear very much, um, but the climbing calls are designed it so if you can anticipate what's going to happen and the order it's going to happen, you can make a pretty good guess at what you're hearing, even if it's not completely clear. So the first thing I'm waiting to hear is safe. And then after that, um, I'll have taken an A off Bailey. The next thing I expect to hear is taking in, which is two words versus the one word safe. So I can pretty much guess if I can't hear properly what that's been, uh, what the call has been. Once Annie's um, taken in the rope, it should go tight to me. If it has gone tight to me, then I need to let her know that it's not just got snagged or caught up somewhere. So I'll shout, that's me. That's her indication that she's pulled in enough rope and she can put me on Bailey. The next thing I'm anticipating is a little pause while that happens and eventually the rope will probably go tight again if she takes in any slack that's got into the system after putting me on Bailey and she'll give me the call, climb when you're ready. Once I'm ready to go, I will, first thing I'll do is undo these clove hitches. And that'll actually introduce a bit of slack into the system. So as soon as I undo those, I'll let Annie take that slack in. But it's important that as soon as I undo those, I shout, I'm climbing. So she knows that she's now looking after my, my safety. Off Bailey, Annie! All right, take it in. Climb when ready, Derek. Okay, climbing. Thank you.